like it or not, Moose is your new digital media champion. Wait, hold up. so much dancing around like an idiot. But allow myself to introduce myself. You see, my name is Santino Marella. And I am the brand new director of authority here at Impact Wrestling. In fact, Impact Wrestling had a massive production plan. There was going to be confetti cannons. There was going to be a marching band. They were even going to release several falcons here in the arena. Don't worry, they already ate. That reminds me, hold on. Cancel the elephants, cancel the elephants. And I'm watching backstage. And I saw what you just did to kick a man in the scrotissimus region. That's disgusting. I don't like cheaters, and you, my friend, are a cheating son of a gun. So as my official first act as director of authority, I'm going to restart this match right now. Referee, <laughs> ring the bell. Spectacular matchup with Josh Alexander for the Impact World title. An Impact original. Frankie Kazarian is here in Atlanta. What a moment. What's up, Impact Zone? Listen, I truly hope you guys are as happy to see me as I am to see all of you. Well. Wait one <laughs> minute. <laughs> what year oh, is it? Oh, yeah. What's going on? Did I enter an alternate universe? We may have well done that. Ernest the Cat Miller's in the Impact Zone here in the ATL. Ernest! The Cat Miller! Yeah. What are you doing here, brother? You know I live in Atlanta, baby. But, but you know I used to be the commissioner at WCW Monday Night Nitro. Wait a second, that's right. So you have experience in this situation. What can I do? How can I make a match? Look over at the situation I got here. Listen. Listen, if these chumps can't get along, let's get it on. Hold on a second. Everybody here, all together? Yes, yes, let's make this one big match. Broken, broken. Oh, no way! Oh, my! Her tag team partner from San Diego, California, Tara! The Impact Knockout legend, Tara, the Black Widow! And look at how emotional Tara is. Was so emotional and hard to kill supporting Mickey James in her title versus career match. This is amazing. No! Oh! Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Tara! Widow's Pink! Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest set for one fall. Introducing first. Fukuoka, Japan, Miyu Yamashita. This is the Impact debut of Miyu Yamashita from 
Tokyo Joshi Pro Wrestling. She is a three-time Princess of Princess champion. She is the ace of TJPW, also known as the Pink Striker. Not only that, we're looking at someone who was named number 12 on the PWI Top 150 Women's Wrestlers in the World, a world-class athlete anywhere, and she is right here in the Impact Zone. Yamashita ready for action here in the Impact Zone and is going to have a pretty difficult test ahead of her. <laughs> Good counters back and forth here. Up through the legs now, Killer Kelly. Oh! Takes out the footing of Yamashita. Oh! oh. Brings Yamashita down. Killer clutch. She's got it. She's got it. It's a bad place to be for Miyu Yamashita. Is Killer Kelly going to knock on Miyu Yamashita? Wait, 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 wait. You? Oh, wait a minute. Shoulders down there for a moment. Trying to hold on to Killer Kelly. Oh! The strength of the ace of Tokyo Joshi Pro. A look out. Oh, there it is! The skull kick! Good night, Kelly! Yamashita wins her Impact debut! Here is your winner, Miyu Yamashita! Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please welcome our special guest commentator for this world title match. Hey, listen, here's how it goes. The conversations have ended. The deal is done. Nick Aldis is back in Impact Wrestling. And the first order of business was Scott DeMore asked me to be here tonight because the corporate bigwigs, the movers and shakers are here. And I said, no, no, no. For this match, I got to be where the action is because I got my sights set on the world title from day one. So I'm here to see who's going to stand in my way, gents. Let's do this.
Trinity. myself. I am Trinity, and I have arrived in Impact Wrestling! impact. This company has the most storied women's division in wrestling. I mean, from the beginning, the knockouts division has been the place to be for fierce competition, and I want a piece of it. I mean, I'm talking about amazing, talented women in this division, like the awesome Kong. Yeah. Gail Kim. Yeah. The legendary Mickey James. Yeah. Diana Perrazzo. Yeah. And the talented Jordan Grace. And many more. Now you've seen me win championships. Yeah. But I'm here to win more. Yeah. So knockouts, get ready, girls, because the brightest star in this here galaxy is ready to shine. Someone like Trinity will have their eyes firmly set on that knockout world championship. Trinity, you invoked my name. You invoked my knockouts world championship. So I figured I would come down and be the first to welcome you here to Impact Wrestling. Seems like you've done your homework. You know if you want opportunities, if you want to make history, this is the place to be. Yeah. 
But if you've done your homework, then you know you're not just walking into any Impact Wrestling, no. You are walking into the new age of the Virtuosa. Yeah. And look, look, I've been exactly where you are right now. I know how you feel, I know how it feels to come out to a new place. It's nerve wracking. Look, if you get what you want, a shot at my knockouts world championship, and truthfully, I hope that you do, let me make one thing perfectly clear, Trinity. When you step in the ring with the virtuosa Diana Perrazzo, that's not something you can just walk out on. with me, you're gonna wish you got fired again. Look, look, you know what? Okay, Trinity, okay. I oh, boy. The intensity is rising here in the impact zone, and here comes the juggernaut, Jordan Grace. As if this situation couldn't get any more explosive. Jordan Grace was her Knockouts World title shot come under siege, but Trinity spoke her name as well just moments ago. between you two. Look, there is not a doubt in my mind that everyone probably wants to see you two wrestle, right? But before we get too carried away, Deanna, I don't need to remind you that later this month at Under Siege, we have a rematch. And I don't plan on losing to you for a fourth time. So Trinity, if you came here to fight Deanna, then by all means, be my guest. But if you came here for a Knockouts World title shot, then come find me. Because as of Under Siege, that title is mine. to handle it under siege. Just know that I'll be waiting. And whichever of you two are champion, let's dance. Well, Tom, the best women's wrestling division on the planet just got turned up to 11. Feels like he might be lost without it, but whoa! Whoa, look at Big this! Too soon! And now Trey Miguel trying to follow up, going to the top turnbuckle. Caution to the Meteora! Wait! Wait a minute, save it! What? Again? Again, right to the STF. All right, spades a spade. What a hell of a counter from Chris Saban. And now Saban trying to pull this free, pull the arm free, get better positioning. Oh, and up onto the shoulders. Oh. Wait, wait a minute, up, wait a minute. Up. Wait a minute, oh. oh my god. What the hell is this? That's Zachary Wentz. Zachary Wentz is back in impact. Trey Miguel's old running buddy from the Rascal. 
Mills. And Trey uh, trying to read his reaction. But oh boy, the boys are back, Tom! A little Rascals reunion here at ATL. And now uh, look at down. this. Miguel and Wentz hammering away on the exhibition champion, Chris Saban. And here comes the Impact World Champion, Alex Shelley, to back up his tag team partner. Oh, uh, but the message has been sent. I, I can't believe this, and even Miguel couldn't believe it for a moment. Session of the X. The 49th Ultimate X match about to begin here at Slammiversary in Windsor. On Wait a second, what? What? No way! The final participant, Jake Something! is one hell of a development to kick off Slammiversary. Oh, uh, this is something big, all right. Wait, 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 hold on a second. Is Jake something the sixth man in this match? Wait a second. I mean, he's dressed to compete. He looks ready to go. And if I'm everybody else in this matchup, the hair on the back of my neck is standing up. familiar here in the United States with Julia. What is the New Japan Strong Women's Champion all about? Julia is one of the most charismatic, dominating forces in all of professional wrestling, but she has really just run through the gamut in stardom. She's the leader of DDM, Donna Del Mondo, and she is representing them here tonight. An artist of stardom, trios champion. She's a former World of Stardom champion. She also has won the five-star Grand Prix, which we're actually in the midst of right now. Julia taking a little break from that to come here to the United States to defend her strong championship here. But the five-star Grand Prix is an interesting tournament in Stardom because you still are defending your championship as you're in the tournament. Julia! All of this is to say that Julia doesn't get nights off, but she doesn't take them either. Wow. I'll tell you what, Gail, but that got me a little bit right in the hearts. Oh, 
find me when you've had three, okay? And Deanna, you can come find me when you've had seven. Tag, I be the greatest that beat the biggest. company than us. Guys, 
who define the tag team division are back in action. This eight man tag team matchup is going to get started in moments. We'll stay with this in picture in picture. Oh, and Singh attacking Young from behind. Singh again, seeing the opportunity to eliminate some competition. Wait, wait a minute. The hell? Wait, is that? Wait a minute. I know who that is. That's oh my god, that's that's always Prudius! Tell you, you remember Vladimir Kozlov? This guy wreaked havoc everywhere! What the hell? Rudius just took out Champagne Singh and Eric Young. There's no disqualifications in this match. What is Oleg Prudius doing here in the Impact Zone? Now what does this mean? And now getting up on the apron, what? Prudius eye to eye with Jake something. Oh my Ooh. God, and a straight headbutt there by Prudius. And right to the arms of Dango here. Is that it? All right, wait a minute, wait a minute, Dango, the cover on something. Dango is the number 20 spot in the Call Your Shot gauntlet. Here is your winner, Dirty Dango. But you know what this means, Ray Wolf? By virtue of being the man who was pinned, Jake something will start the Call Your Shot gauntlet at number one. And look at this. Prudius, oh my, Prudius here aligned with Dango. That's what this wall was about. Oh, who's Bailey's partner? That's my question. And his tag team partner. lost one of its greatest in Owen Hart, and we all mourned together. But that night was the start of a career, a career of a man that would go on to great things, a career of a man that nine years ago I would walk into this place because he had sent me a Facebook message, some guy Anthony Corelli. Yeah. Now, folks, I honestly didn't know who it was because somebody else owned the name at the time. Uh, we took care of that. Uh, but anyway, I came here, I met him, and this building's been so instrumental to me. It's been so instrumental to this company. Five years ago, I stood in this ring and made one of the biggest decisions in this company's history and signed The Walking Weapon. And then three years later, after 
after sighting the face that runs the place, I saw this guy go toe to toe with the walking weapon and said, damn it, this guy needs to be an impact wrestling. You know, and so many other memories here. I remember walking to this building and seeing a tag team with a couple of great mustaches. Yeah. And that's when I saw this guy, Trent Seven, tear this house down. Yeah. And besides just being a good wrestler, the thing I loved about him is he wasn't just great at the in-ring stuff. He got the whole business. And that's why he came out... And he was hawking these things all over the place. But to me, I always thought there was something missing. And it should have looked like this. Because Trent, damn it, I couldn't sign you that day years ago. But somebody was dumb enough to let you go. So I think we need to carry on the tradition. You borrowed Josh Alexander's back a few years ago. Why don't you return the favor and let Trent use your back? You just flipped to that last page. Who wants to see Trent Seven in TNA wrestling? Trent Affin Savage!